Hey guys, what's going on? In this video, I'm gonna do a video trying all the New Zealand snacks. So we've got a whole bunch here. This is coming from an Aussie's perspective, so I've got a lot to try. So we'll get straight into it. First off, we've got the Whitaker's Peanut Slab. So it's a, it's a quite a um, chunky bar, quite hefty. So these are supposed to be popular chocolate here. So open it if we can <laughs> good, good, good start one minute 37 seconds later so I had a bit of um, technical issues there trying to get it open I had to get Brent to open it but we finally got it open look at that it's a solid little bar you can see the peanuts there let's give it a taste It's pretty good. It's a bit like a, a picnic. I'm not sure if you know what a picnic is, but without the caramel. The chocolate flavor is not very strong. Really peanutty. It's got all those peanuts, as you can see. Branded Whitakers. It's pretty good. Not amazing, but um, yeah, there's the Whitakers. Uh, peanut slab out of 10 I'd say that's a 7 out of 10 by the way I'm not fussy like I'll eat anything so I'm not gonna be one of those people who's like ew ew but let's get on to number two this looks good the original chocolate chutney chart chart cookie so cookie time do you see these around a lot in New Zealand oh it's quite a big cookie look at that Oh, let's break it open. Oh, it's quite hard. Hey, that's what she said. Not like a soft, gooey sort of Subway cookie. It's nothing um, real life changing. It's good. Um, it's quite hard on the outside. Not that same gooiness as like a Subway cookie, but it's pretty good. Probably a 7.5 out of 10, I'd say. Alrighty, next, we're going to try this classic New Zealand beverage, LMP. So you'll see these everywhere. Lemon and Peroa. I'm not sure what that is. Good lemony stuff. So I've got two different flavors. Um, I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is the classic flavor. Got our wine glass here. Let's see what this is all about. So maybe this is the equivalent to Lyft in Australia. Well, it looks like I'm pouring a bottle of bubbly, like white wine. <laughs> yeah, it actually does, so. Mm. It's not as sort of citrusy as I thought. It's more sort of that um, Sprite kind of taste. Um, I think this um, didn't exceed my expectations. Yeah, it's not very lemony, it's kind of more a Sprite. It's not even really refreshing. Yeah, I'm sorry about the LMP. Hasn't made the best first impressions, but um, I'll try the dry version I've got up next. I'd rather a Sprite than that, but or a Lyft. Official rating for that. I'm gonna have to go with a 5.5. Now we've got the the dry ginger beer version. I've had a ginger beer at the Hobbleton, so I'm not sure how this LMP version's gonna stack up. That one was good, by the way. In our wine glass, here's the ginger beer version. Oh, that one's. A lot better. You can't really taste the lemon in it. In it. It's you can definitely taste the ginger beer flavour. Yeah, I probably prefer this. It's it's not a strong ginger beer, but it's definitely got that ginger beer flavour. The official rating for the LMP dry ginger beer, I'd say, would be a 6.2. Nothing special. Next, we're gonna try Marmite. We obviously have Vegemite over here. Their tagline is 
go ahead, dig in. Now, I actually don't have any bread here, but the thing is, I'm not a dumb American, so I'm allowed to do this, and I appreciate the salty taste of Vegemite, so, so it's a bit of a rip-off of Vegemite. So let's crack this open. Oh, from the get-go, it's... Oh, it's a lot more of a sort of liquidy, soft sort of um, consistency. Yeah, it has that same smell as Vegemite. Um, so go ahead, dig in. That's what I'm about to do. Now, this obviously isn't the correct way of eating it, but I'm Aussie and know how to, so know the taste. So... Vegemite's obviously good shit. Hmm. I feel it's a more like sort of creamy, not as in your face flavor. Hmm. I, I might actually prefer this. I don't think it's not quite as salty, like, and a fair bit there. And it's easier to eat out the spoon. More sort of like a, almost a Nutella consistency. Yeah, I honestly think I prefer this than the regular Vegemite. I'd love to have this on toast, like, that's actually good, real, real good. The official rating for Marmite, I'd say that'd be a, a 7.9. So that, that probably impressed me the most so far, the Marmite. Like, I could notice the difference, but, um, yeah, Marmite. We're gonna have to get that in Australia. Next, we've got, um, Lewis Road Creamery Fresh Chocolate Milk from Whitaker's. Need something to break up that, um, strong, salty Vegemite taste. Got the chocolate, give it a good mix. Oh, they got different flavors of this. I have to go to the classic. Get that saltiness out of the mouth. Honestly, it tastes like a chocolate move. Um, I'm not sure if they still have the brand move, but um, you like that, so. It's not very thick, and it's not a whole lot chocolatey. It's it's good. It's easy to drink, but I thought it'd be a lot better. Yeah, nothing to write home about. Um, official rating would be a six point two. Up next, we've got Manuka Honey. I'll be honest, this was the cheaper one because they can get expensive and we actually had a bit of an accident at Puck, Puck and Slave. So, 5 plus UMF New Zealand honey. Let's bust this open and taste some honey. Oh, from the get-go, it's real thick. As you can see there, it's quite thick. Doesn't really have a strong honey taste, uh, smell, sorry. Um, this obviously wouldn't be the highest quality one. I'm not, they did have better ones, but this is Manuka honey. Oh, there's actually some plastic where <laughs> I broke, so we'll take that out. Gotta keep safe here. Got our spoon. Oh, here's the consistency. So quite thick. Could be to do with how it's been stored. Oh, that, yeah, that's pretty nice. I don't usually eat honey, but it's obviously not one of those liquidy ones. Um, yeah, maybe it's how it's stored, but... Yeah, that's real nice. I could probably finish this with a spoon the same way I could that Marmite. So I'm sure if you can tell, the more, like, bites I take, the better it will be, so... Mmm. Yeah, that's quite nice, and this is the cheaper one, so... Honey by... Arataki, Arataki honey. I'd give that a rating of uh, 7.9, pretty good. So up next, we've got the Bluebird chips. I got a multi-pack to try the different flavors. You'll see these 
ones with the penguins. We'll start off with the chicken flavor. Just a side note, in Australia, usually the chicken's a green color and salt and vinegar's purple. So that's quite strange. Not much in the packet, mainly air, as per usual. Ooh, different sort of um, textures from the start. Yeah, it's quite unique as a chip. Um, so this is the chicken flavor. Comparing them to Smith's chips, the OGs, I'd probably, I'd rather Smith's chips. Um, I rate the chickens, uh, they're not too good to be honest, 5.7, it's a bit above average. Next up, we've got probably the classic flavor, my favorite, salt and vinegar, should be purple. that yeah the first thing I notice is you can't smell them usually when you open a bus open a pack of Smith chips that flavor hits you but these are quite they're probably healthier they taste like they're healthier it's quite a subtle salt and vinegar flavor I probably actually prefer these they're not as like in your face they're quite light um I'm sure if I was born and raised in New Zealand, I'd appreciate these more, but they're not that... Oh, uh, then again, I put, yeah, I prefer um, Smith's chips, so I'd rate these about a 5.7. The final flavour is the ready salt, so this compares to the blue original flavour of Smith's. It's in a red, usually that's sort of the barbecue flavour. Can't really smell anything. Definitely crunchy. Cameraman's having a quick bite. Yeah, not much flavor. It's just, it's a different texture. I'd prefer Smith's again. Um, I think New Zealand's only better on the Marmite so far. I think everything else, Australia brands would do a better job. So, come at me. Oh! I'll clear my palate with something pretty cool primo sublime lime milk drink milk drink look look at that color i'm kind of keen to try this i've never seen ever probably in my life maybe it's a specialty every now and then of a lime drink so give it a shake yeah this brand comes in different flavors but this is quite unique oh that smells good i'm keen on this one i reckon this might be the Look at that texture, it's not as, it's not too, too thick, but it's definitely that lime green color. All right, let's give it a go. Mm. It's not a, it's not a full on flavor. It's not, not too milky. It's, mm. it's definitely pretty easy to drink. Um. Yeah, just seeing that it's a lime flavor, and for the uniqueness of it, um, yeah, it's pretty good. I'd give it a, a 7.1 rating. Not bad. So I think we got probably the most exciting. Uh, I usually do that, save the best to last. So here we've got a collab, collab chocolate, the LMP, the drink you saw earlier, and Whitaker's chocolate. So I guess this is like the two New Zealands just collabing for like, a sick feature, so for that clout. 12 mini slabs. I wonder, it's what is it infused with LMP bursting popping candy? This is exciting stuff here. So, individual packets, so 12 of them, quite small. Open her up. Oh. Got that Whitaker's branding on it. Can't smell too much. Oh, okay, so popping candy. Oh. Yeah, you can definitely get that subtle taste of the lemon. 
And it's got popping candy. That's pretty good. It's, it's almost like a white chocolatey sort of base. Now, popping candy's nice. It's something quite unique. Um, you know, they're pretty good. I'd have to rate them a 8.2 out of 10. It's good to see two New Zealand high rollers collabing. Next up, we've got R&J's finest Jaffas. So, I've had Jaffas before, but... Um, you don't see them too often in Australia. Bust this open. Obviously, red balls. Put them on the floor roll. Oh, we've got a few there. Alrighty. Obviously, hard on the outside. Try and buy it in half, get an inside shot. There we go. Not a strong Jaffa, Jaffa flavor. Yeah, in terms of Jaffas, they're not even really like, sort of, you know, moorish, like you want to eat a whole bunch of them. In terms of um, Jaffas, not the best. I'd say I'd rate them a six out of 10. Alrighty, I'm excited for this. Up next we have Afghans, not the Middle Eastern country, the chocolate biscuit. So I've had an Afghan biscuit at this place in Auckland, um, Giapo ice cream. You might know them. Oh, I think this is where the big standouts are gonna come. So it comes in this pack, three times, I don't know, five. Haven't seen anything like this in Australia. Oh, it reminds me, it's almost like a, it's like an Anzac biscuit, but a chocolatey version. Yeah, it's got that sort of oaty taste to it. It's, it's pretty good, um, and it's sort of like a chocolatey Anzac biscuit. I'd rate this a 7.2 out of 10. Now, in terms of chocolate bars, I haven't seen this in Australia. I'm sure it's unique. Break this open. Oh. That, look at this. Oh, that's thick. With three C's. Oh. This is gonna be cool. Oh, okay. It's got that milk chocolate. Quite chewy. Yeah, so, if, if you know those of those banana lollies, it's kind of like they got one of them and like squished it and put it in a paste sort of thing. And it goes really well with the chocolate. It's, that's, that's good. That's something I think would go well in Australia. So the Perky Nana. Yeah, I'd say that, that's the best I've had from the New Zealand snacks video so far. So, or rating rise, I'd say 8.8 .8 out of 10. Oh, soft and chewy. Mmm. Wow. Second last we have Squiggles Hokey Pokey. So Hokey Pokey classic flavour in New Zealand. <coughs> These look good from Griffins. There they are in three groups of four. So three times four is 12. Let's grab one. These look like you could just smash a whole packet. So here we go. They got those Squiggles. Yeah, they're good. It's got that hokey pokey flavor that I'm not too accustomed with. Real crunchy, got that chocolate outside. Now these are pretty good. You could easily smash about four or five. Um, in terms of rating, I'd say 8.5 out of 10. We have the Pascal Pineapple Lump. So these are like a OG in the New Zealand snack department, the original, so Let's see what these are all about. If I can open it. There we go. 
So they're little um, rectangles, not very big. Yeah, you can sort of smell a bit of that pineapple. Oh, crunchy. She'll be inside. You can definitely taste that sort of pineapple-y flavor. They kind of got that refreshing sort of vibe going, but I don't think they're anything too special. It might be a bit offensive, but with real fruit juice, it's definitely got that pineapple -ness. Um Honestly, I'll give another one just to make sure. Oh, uh, I think they grow on you, but yeah, quite unique. So they're, they're all right. I'll give them a rating of um, 7.7 out of 10. It's the last day of the New Zealand trip and I've finally got my hands on a Cadbury chocolate fish. Been looking everywhere, the countdowns, the new worlds, but we found it at the, not day and night, the night and day. So that's a place here in Queenstown. So I had to snag me one. We finally got it, so we're gonna give the infamous chocolate fish a try. Bust this open. Ooh, so it's a fish. So what is it? Marshmallow, chocolate covered marshmallow as kiwi, kiwi as. Oh, so it's pink. Um, I guess it's similar to some other type of chocolate. I can't think of it, but um, nothing life changing to be honest. Um, just got pretty much covered chocolate and some marshmallow on the inside. Um, pretty good. If I had to rate it, it'd be a seven out of ten. I'd say pretty easy to eat, but um, seriously, the kiwis going raving on about this. I'd say their best thing is the those hokey pokey biscuits, but um, not bad, I guess. Alrighty, so we've went through most of the main New Zealand snacks, pretty much everything I could find. So my favourite would have definitely been that Perky Nana chocolate. That's something we could do within Australia. Also, those hokey pokey biscuits were pretty good. I preferred the Marmite. Um, everything else was. Yeah, the LMP was disappointing. I thought that was supposed to be real good, not much lemon flavor. The lime drink was unique. That was pretty cool. Whitaker's chocolate, bit overrated to be honest. Those chips, yeah, not as good as Smith's. And pretty much, yeah, that's a wrap of this New Zealand snack video. I've got one on Japan snacks. I've got all sorts of sick videos, so Sick content, always coming. I'm gonna have eventually, I don't know, Brazilian snack videos, so if you're not subscribed, you'll probably be missing out. So, yeah, anyways, like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.